All right, folks. Hello, welcome to another Molden stream. And today we have <laughs> we have some spicy stuff going on <laughs> going on today. Uh, today is Donation Deck Thursday, and as such, uh, we have some some spicy ones today. We're gonna be playing Morophon Humans to start things off. Um, all right, let's let us let us go slowly through what what this deck is trying to do. All right, so. We can do Morophon the Boundless. This is 7 mana 6-6 six, six Changeling when it enters the battlefield, which is a creature type. Spoiler alert, we're going to be choosing humans. And then it says that spells of the chosen type that you cast cost uh, one of each color less to cast. Um, and then other creatures of the chosen type get plus one plus one, whatever. Uh, the combo is that we have access to Joda, Joda, however you pronounce this. I'm going to say uh, Joda. And it's a 4-3 flyer, another legend, and it says you may pay one of each color rather than pay the mana cost of spells you cast. So, yeah, yeah, you see how this is going to be working out? There we go. So, more of one plus Joda. So, the way that it works is we need to pay um, pay a white mana, I guess, to, to cast this. Oh, we don't have white mana in the mana base. Whoops. I guess that... that Maybe a mistake. <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna see uh, if. Are you are you in the chat, Ash? Because maybe you can help me out with this. So uh, so the way the way that it works is that it costs. Oh no, we we don't have to. No, we just need to pay one. We just, yeah yeah. No, we don't need the white mana. Never mind. My bad. My bad. No, because everything it's it's only a single colorless mana because it costs one of each colorless to cast. Okay, never mind. So this this just works beautifully. So for only a single mana, we get to cast uh, Joda Eternal Ar uh, Archmage Eternal. Then we get to cast every single one of all of our other humans uh, for free. So we have access to Agent of Treachery. We can steal our opponent's stuff. We have Samot Voice of the Descent, who's a 3-4 Flash Double Strike Vigilant Haste. And then other creatures you control have haste. So this is the um, the combo kill, right? Like if we if we get uh, Samot into play, we get to just kill them instantly. Then Chulane, Chulane, however this, whatever. And it's a 2-4 Vigilance. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you draw a card, then you may put a land camp from your hand onto the battlefield. So it's basically... Um, uh, Glimpse of nature, and then um, you can pay three mana, return target creature you control to its owner's hand. And finally, Garna the Blood Flame means that when it enters the battlefield, you return all all to your hand all creature cards in your graveyard that were put there from anywhere this turn. So the idea is you get to churn through your deck with uh, Chulane, and uh, then you put the cards into your graveyard, and because they are legends or whatever, and then you can get them back with Garna if you need to. We can also use Garna to um, to get card advantage if necessary. If we discard the, the, the creatures somehow, and then we get them back. Um, and the way that we get we speed up a more of the boundless. Obviously, we're not trying to spend seven mana here. Is we want to discard it thanks to Cathartic Reunion and Prismari Command, and you know Thought Scour works as well. And then we want to bring it back with Gorious Vengeance. Uh, we also have Snapcaster, so if we mill our own uh, our own Gorious Vengeance, we can uh, we can get it back with Snapcaster Mage. And then uh, Prismari Command, uh, the I imagine the modes that we're gonna be using the most are gonna be the draw two, discard two, and then to create a treasure. So uh, these are the different uh, the different combos that the deck has uh, going on. Uh, we're gonna see how it works out. Um, Twenty lands, Grixis colors, nothing too crazy to see there, and then Serum Visions to help set up the combo. It's spicy. I I, I will be the first one to tell you that it's spicy. Uh, but my goal is for us to be able to at least get this going once. So even if we go 0-4, I'm still gonna play the fifth match. Uh, in the hopes that we get to combo off at least once. Um, I really doubt that this is going to be the next tier one deck that you're going to see <laughs> breaking modern. But if we get to do the thing, it's going to be absolutely glorious. Uh, but modern is a fast-paced format. So uh, maybe maybe like things are going to need to line up very well for us to, to be able to get there. But this looks hilarious enough. And it's going to be a great... A, a great uh, a great show if we do get to to put things together. Uh, in the cyber we have like a bunch of you know cyber cards. Stubborn denial to protect our combo when we have Morophone in play. Uh, it also works with with Joda for what's worth. Mystical dispute to help force our combo through. 
brutality uh, to kill disrupting creatures and you know the, the drain mode can be relevant and also we get to uh, discard uh, or morophon to for value so brutality actually works really really well in this deck uh, fit the swarm uh, as an answer to creatures and more importantly enchantments like ley lines or rest in pieces uh, fatal pushes for small creatures thought seizes against uh, to mostly i, I assume we're going to be using thought seize aggressively and finally night of spell wounds uh, if you're enjoying the content of course make sure to hit that um, subscribe button and give me a like or two and i'll see you for round number one all right we're starting off this league we're starting off this league <laughs> With the right foot, my opponent, my opponent knows the truth. They know the truth. I am a dirty, dirty, dirty Trump player, and they know it. So we are, we're starting things off. This, we're starting things off. We're starting things off strong. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Uh, cathartic unit. Yeah, this hand looks great. I mean, as great as a hand like like this could look like, I guess. So I'm assuming we're gonna go fetch a blood crypt. We have the Gorious Vengeance. I guess I still don't know what I want to be discarding with Reunion. Croxa. Um, I kind of want to pitch a land. Am I going to need to get a basic swamp here? Because my opponent could be playing a Blood Moon deck. It would be very embarrassing if we lo get locked out of Blood Moon. We get locked out by Blood Moon, I mean. Yeah, so I guess let's go get a basic swamp right now. We're gonna get a steam vents here. And I guess that we wanna get, we wanna hold on to the true lane. And eh, no, we can just discard it, I guess, for now. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Not Kaya! Damn it! You never discard Chulane? Well, now I know. I can't never beat a Kaya! Main the graveyard hate! What the hell, man? What is this main the grip your hate nonsense? No, that's so brutal. Wow. I can't do anything here. I can't do anything. But if we draw a land, we get to Cathartic Reunion discarding both Morophons. And we can go off on the same... No. <laughs> No, you're killing me. You're killing me, opponent. What is the combo? I, I explained it on the intro. <laughs> I explained on the intro. So you get back more phone, you name human, you play the 4-3 guy, Joda. And then you play all your humans for free. You draw a bunch of cards with Chulane, stuff like that. Uh, 
Pony is try hard. Yeah, I know. Pony doesn't like fun, man. Opponent doesn't like fun. God damn it. And it was so beautiful how it was coming together, right? It was so beautiful how it was coming together. And then... <laughs> and then they just... Disrupted me. What, what are you doing, opponent? Come on. Can we see Titan Tron? Uh, you're gonna see Titan Tron later. But we're gonna play Titan Tron League right after this league. Well, I'm not gonna just play a random Snapcaster for no value, so. Because it's gonna die to a Bolt or whatever they have, so. Brutal. This reminds me a lot of the of the hands that you would get with the uh, with this stupid deck with soul soul whatever. What's the name of that card? What's the name of that card? The 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 six mana with delve that you would exile a bunch of creatures and then you would get. Um, you would get your, it would get all the abilities. Soul Flayer, yeah, yeah, Soul Flayer, Soul Flayer. That's the that's the card. Um, well, we don't have too much for this matchup, I'll tell you. I really doubt that they have anything. Maybe Stubborn Denial. So we can protect more of one. I really doubt that they have instant speed answers for more of one anyway. And there's no way that they're playing Damnation. So I don't think I like the Stubborn Denials. They can counter their, their stuff though. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Just like as a terrible, terrible force spike. I guess Snapcaster's fine. How the hell do we sideboard is the question. Cutting one Garna is fine, okay. So we can cut one Garna. And then... Free Mario or Snap. Cut Snap. This matchup does not look good for us. Sure, let's keep this. Bottom agent? No, let's bottom second for Smarry command. Got him. Mm. If I reunion, I have to pitch both of this. Seems not great, so I'm gonna pass. Damn it. <laughs> the classic one low and land seven drop hand. Mm -hmm. 
Marduk Radio Eddie Molony, I know. My opponent says, if it helps, I have no idea what's going on, and I'm answering, neither do I. <laughs> It's true. Hashtag ban thoughtsies. Stupid and sexy thoughtsies. I think we're gonna get a basic, basic swamp here. That Morphone draw was pretty solid. That Morphone draw not as good as the other one. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can press Mario Command to... Can we just hard cast this Morphon? Like, is that realistic for us to do? Like, we can never beat a Discord Spell deck. That's just not a thing that this deck is designed to do, really. I'm gonna hold on to the land so I can pitch it to the Prismaric Command. Stomp face. Okay. Bolt also face. Also okay. I think my opponent just emptied their hand for Season Pyro. I imagine that's what's going on. The land is important. Oh, okay, that's right, because we need one more land afterwards. So I guess that we want to play that out. I mean, if my opponent is doing nothing. Why are they holding? Oh, they're holding up Caius Guile, I think. I think they're just holding up Caius Guile. I think they're just still do they're just doing that. I'm gonna press Mario Command on end step, I think. Draw two, make a token. Hold on to that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think that we could have realistically beaten this. <laughs> I don't think that we could re we could have realistically beaten this. Um, we can make it four three, which I'm gonna. Here's my Joe there. He dies to bolt. Yeah, I don't think I want to add yet one more layer to the combo. I don't think I want to add even one more layer of complexity to the combo. It was a joke. I mean, at this point, anything that anything that you say, I'm gonna take seriously. Cause like clearly, I mean, <laughs> you know, one cyborg Emrakul. Yeah, I mean, cyborg Emrakul would definitely be better than what we got going on here. 
Um, I kind of just don't have enough here. Brutal. Yeah, so I mean, we can jump, we discard. Yeah, we're just we're just dead. Nothing we could have really done here. Brutal. See you for the next round. All right, we're playing against Big JC. I don't know what Big Big JC is up to nowadays. Uh, this hand would be the ship though. Okay, keep, and I think I'm going to bottom a reunion because we're going to need the land. <laughs> we want to face Tron that doesn't hit Tron, exactly. That's our ideal matchup. Maybe we can beat that matchup. Wow, Eldrassi Temple? Come on, JC, you're better than that. Moral Fort in the graveyard! Hold! Hold! Show that the hand! Hold! Hold! Can we do this? Can we do this? Oh no, 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 the thought not is coming. The thought not is coming. That's brutal. Um. Oh, come on, JC, just have the reshaper, okay? Just have the reshaper. Um, oh man, we need some humans now. So I think I'm just gonna serum visions here. We're a little bit short on blue mana. Gorgeous Vengeance doesn't work. Hey Will, how's it going? Oh, we're we're memeing hard over here, Will. We're memeing hard. Oh no, Tormod script. Don't tell me Tormod script is what's going on here. Oh no, we can never. Why is everybody play? Ha everybody just have has access to main deck hate, man. What's wrong with people? Why does everybody have access to main deck graveyard hate nowadays? Okay, so what if we exile an end step? At the beginning of the next end step, so this would work. This would work. But like obviously it's they're just going to Tormod script. Man, that would have been so great. Think it would follow Linotar. Well, they're not going to do anything, right? I need to set up again. How do I play through Crypt? I can't play through Crypt. That's the problem. They are not going to crack. They have no reason to crack. You cast one and cast the other. Yes, and then we can't do anything. Remember that we have yet one more mana to do, to do anything. All right. We just have to hope that they don't have another way to, to exile my graveyard. So if they have a relic or something, we're in trouble. Hopefully, best thing that can happen is my opponent goes for... Um... No. <laughs> All 
Okay, we can blow that up with Prisma Archimand. It's not over. It's not. No, no, no. Op opponent! God damn it. God damn it. Nice snapcaster, nerd. Nice snapcaster, nerd. Alright, alright. I have seen enough. I have seen enough. I have seen enough. Um, I think I'll follow Golem, JS Golem. Component couldn't prepare for the Moral Form Animator matchup. Yeah, they did. Yes, they did. Well, we have nothing in the in the sideboard, right? None of our cards do anything really. Thoughties, but if they, if they have chalice, that sucks. Stand with sideboard like that. Something, something twin lands, but eight, seven drops. Come on, Spider, you know better than that. You know better than to come to my channel. I mean, to be fair, the hands we've been getting have been nutty. We just have not been able to do anything with them, but our hands have been outstanding. <sighs> land of the top, chat. Land of the top, please. Please give me a land of the top, chat. Give me your energy. We need that land of the top. <laughs> I'm dying here. I am, I'm, I am dying here. There's a land. Whew, we're so close, chat. We're so close. We're so, so close, chat. We're so close. <laughs> um, do we want another land? We have Prismary Command. I think we don't want either one of these. We want four lands? Okay, so I'm gonna ship this scour and I'm gonna keep the land, I guess. Okay, we have Prismary Command. We have Prismary <laughs> Oh, come on! <laughs> really? Really? This is what's happening right now? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, top. Okay, so... What's the play here? I'm obviously gonna blow up the Graft Digger's Cage. Yeah, we're all, all, obviously we're gonna blow this up, but like, do we want to draw two? We can also make a token, uh, make a treasure. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking just make a treasure. Create a treasure, blow up artifact. And then they're obviously gonna take the Gorius. Can't cast Chulane, which is unfortunate. But if we top the Gorios, um, do we want to fetch? 
There's a thought scour on the bottom. Yeah, sure, let's fetch. It's probably not enough. Buckle up. <laughs> um, so this is a redraw, right? Because we have a two lane. So we bought on the land. And we keep the Jota because it's a free. Name human. Pay one. We cast with Joda. What do we steal? We we can steal their their Tron land. Oh, I had to play this first. I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, <laughs> I thought I had already played this for whatever reason. Anyway, um, steal their thought not. I guess. Obviously, I wanted to play the. I got too excited. Okay. I got too excited. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I got too excited. We have a solid board state though. We swing for six here, then we swing for a bunch next turn. I guess we can we can do it again next turn. So let's keep the Samut on top, I guess. Smart command to the bottom, Samut on top. Man, we would have we wouldn't be able to go off even even deeper. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Obviously I fucked it up. Obviously I fucked it up. We got insanely lucky. Uh, I did attack with Morphone. My my opponent drew gain to life. <laughs> wow! I can't believe how lucky we got. Like how ridiculous! How ridiculous is how lucky we got? Like, it's honestly outstanding. It's honestly outstanding how lucky we got that game. Stream over, we did it. Yeah. That was the peak. That was peak for this stream. <laughs> that is as far... Uh, as good as this stream is gonna get, so I hope you guys uh, you guys liked it. Because that's as good as it gets. It's over now. That was it. Oh no. More cars I can't beat, god damn it. Why does my opponent have, have, have all of these cars that I can't ever beat in a million years? Yeah, we're gonna need that guy. Um, actually, we keep... Let's go top... Oh, no, no. Undo. Well, we can't undo. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> um, Alright. I, I was... Like, but there, there's no use in having Scour on top of her... On having Chile in the graveyard. We need it in the in play. 
What is this when he has like 20 graveyard hate cards? Yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, God damn it, we can beat that. It <sighs> sucks, man. I hate it when my opponent does stuff that I can beat because it means that I can't just scoop. Well, can't. No, actually, we, we can't beat that now that I think about it. Yeah, we can't beat that. Wait a minute. Never mind. I mean, we we can't beat that, but we can't beat the fact that they already have two relics in play, right? So, yeah, we we cannot beat double relic. <laughs> JC says, if you win this match, I'm filing for comp. <laughs> More rainbows. Thank you for the follow. Command um, destroy artifact, create a treasure token. So what this allows me to do is allows me to force one of the relics. Because I can play Snapcaster this coming turn. And now I can play Snapcaster and I can force my opponent to crack one of the relics. Because otherwise we just, you know, blow it up. So I'm assuming that they're I want to. Mattery Shaper. Why doesn't my opponent just have a Mattery Shaper hand, you know? Would be awesome if my opponent had a Mattery Shaper hand. Okay, force through one relic. Force through one relic. Man, we would be able to... Well, we're just dead. They're just gonna ping the Snapcaster and we're gonna die, but... <sighs> the second relic, man, the second relic was too much. The second relic was too much. Honestly, it really sucks how close we were. It really sucks how close we were. I see you for the next round. All right, let's see if we can steal another game, Chad. Well, we're not keeping this hand. We may be keeping this one. So we have probably just established that we cannot beat Discard Spell Deck, so I'm just going to send the Redundant Gorius. Force 
feel good about this match. All right, that that's great to hear, Crook Bros. That's that's great to hear. So I'm probably gonna get watery grave here. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's either watery grave or Stevens. Probably watery grave. Soul Scar Mage. Now let's do watery grave so we don't get bottlenecked on blue mana, which is something that has happened already. Got him bottlenecked on blue mana and it's been awkward. Crash through. Okay. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna main face attempt to kill one of these things. If we draw a Morophon, we could be in business. If we draw a Morophon, we could be in business. No. So let's just deal two damage and draw two this card too. Yikes. <clears throat> Probably dead here, right? So opponent seems to be playing mono red. No, but they don't they didn't really abosh though. They didn't reveal Obosh, so what are they doing? The true mono red. Are we dead here? Probably. Down to two. Okay, 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 okay. So, what we have to do is we have to Thought Scour a Morophon and we have to draw a, a Joda, okay? That's the goal here. Mm. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. Um... We're technically not dead on board. We can Gorius one of these two, but we are dead on board though, because we can't win, so. <laughs> uh, we probably want pushes. I guess Brutality seems fine. Like not great, but fine. A box of flesh and blood is eight thousand three hundred dollars. I've never ever played it. I don't even know what that is. Is that a game? I guess I'm just gonna ignore the fact that they have creatures. I just hope that we can get there. Okay, this hand's legit. This hand's legit. Um, I think I'm gonna ship the Agent of Treachery. And then we can go turn one island. Uh, we can snap caster it back Serum Visions in a couple of turns. I'm 
and he gives me a blocker. <laughs> my opponent is like what the hell are you doing if you don't mind me asking i'm like it just makes good content don't worry about it <laughs> it's kind of a cool mountain art there's just so many like random mountains that i have no idea how they came to be like is this from like, from which promo set is this mountain? Where the hell is it from? Is it from, like, a... From the bolts? Like, is it... This one is from Jumpstart? Okay. Like, what is Jumpstart? Is Jumpstart, like, another, like, promo set or something? What is Jumpstart? Oh, that, that explains why they don't have... What's his name? Oh, also, we can't win anymore. Well, that sucks. Prismari command. No? Unlucky. Could never beat this card, right? Just gotta draw exactly Prismari command. How do I feel about back at Awakening in this deck? Uh, I don't think that you can really play ETB top lands. Like, maybe you can play them as, like, land number 20, you know, like, 21 and 22. The problem is, like, you, you just don't have the mana, like... Am I dead here? Not dead, but I can't win, so... Kind of in the same spot. I guess I can force them to crack Soul Guide Lantern. So I'm gonna do that now. If I had made Morophone, you actually would have won. I mean, no, they have Soul Guide though. Yeah, I'm snapping Brutality so we can get rid of the Soul Guide Lantern. Yep. Which I wasn't gonna cast anyway, but. Now we can hopefully chomp block so we don't die. And then do we have a draw? Uh, we have to draw. Let's go snappy. We have to draw like Thought Scour. We have to draw Thoughts Cower. Faithless looting, yeah, looting would be great. Show that number three, maybe not so great. Um, so if their hand is four mountains, we have a shot. We need four mountains. Four mountains in hand for opponent. That's one of them. Another gonna top the can well, that one just straight up kills me. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, this this game we were not very close. This, this match we were not very close, but still, we tried our best. See you for the next round. It
All right, so far, we should have a counter that, that shows how many times we were able to do the thing. And so far, that, that counter would say one. Can we up that counter to two before the league is over? I'm keeping this hand, I think. Can Prismara command, discard the Morophon. Cathartic Union is probably our best draw here. Please let this be hammer time, right? Like, let's have this be a deck that we can realistically be able to beat. Wait, island? Oh no, my opponent's playing counter magic? So unfair. Yeah, this seems like the, the spike deck. This seems like the spike deck. Uh, I'm gonna press mark command right now. Uh, draw two, create a treasure. Play our mana leak this way. Morophon, and I guess we can beam the thoughts kind of now. We can beam the serum visions so that we can snap caster serum visions. <laughs> oh, Ramphom steal you. The joke wasn't you, indeed. Clearly, we are we are defying we are defying the laws of what's possible. We're defying the laws of what's reasonable, honestly. Uh, we didn't think about playing Sorin because Sorin doesn't really work with what we're doing. But I I thought about playing through the breach. Like Prismar Command, honestly, makes through the breach somewhat reasonable. The problem is that you are. Um, it puts you in a spot where um, like you just need too much mana to with through the reach. <clears throat> this is just adding insult to injury right here. Just adding insult to injury. Everybody, we have not played. The only person that we played against that was not playing uh, graveyard hate was the mono red player. I think that it costs us the treasure, which is a big cost, but I think that we kind of have to do this. And I guess we can't afford to top this. We do have Prismari Command, so we, we do get another couple of redraws next turn. There's no way we're ever resolving anything whatsoever, though. <laughs> No way we're ever resolving anything, to be honest. The problem is, even if we draw Gorius, like they probably have force at this point. Jace with Lurus, the classic. Yeah, I guess that tapping out for Jace is not really an option. They could tap out for Valky. They could tap out for Valky. Uh, 
Go, Snappy. There we go. Hit him for two. They're, they're, they're escaping cling to dust, chat. We can never beat my opponent escaping cling to dust. God damn it. Brady is melting when looking at his hand. I mean, I guess we're gonna just hard cast this guy. And I, I, I guess that they probably wanna draw a card. So maybe that's our out. What's a girl? Oh, she's a girl. I mean, what kind of name is Garna anyway? Yeah, my bad, my bad. With a name like Garna, it, I, I could see, uh, I could see like just any gender <laughs> it's not a gender specific name i guess why in the world would you want a donor deck to win and ironically that's a um, that's a good point when i'm gonna donate for ruler power saying i watch a donor deck win yeah To be fair though, when Dono decks win, it's it's just so much more epic, right? Like Titan Troll 5 Owing is is just such a beautiful thing. This deck needs, hope I said the world right, World Tree allows you to tap for anything. The problem is that we're never ever gonna have uh, six lands into play in play. So World Tree is just is just gonna be an ETB top land that taps for grain. Titan Tron is meta. <laughs> what you doing, opponent? Come on. Let's just resolve that cling to dust and move on with our turn. Have I seen this Soren Morophon first liver deck? I did see it. It's pretty funny. I have actually lost to that deck. Because, you know, if you're playing Amulet and your opponent has the nuts, like, there's not really anything that you can do. <laughs> Sorry, Humus actually works with Neoform Tassiger. Finally resolved to take the Prismara command. They'd rather have the card draw than exile the more opponent, I guess. Which kind of makes sense. It took them three minutes to, <laughs> to make that decision happen. Five O with Tarmo Titan. I did four one with Stoneforge Titan. I have five O with Stoneforge Titan. For what's worth. Uh, I think I'm beating their reunion. I don't think we can really afford to. To cast it, because if our opponent counters it, then we're just super dead. <clears throat> we can flash in a guard now. I went five zero with Stoneforge Green White Tron. Well, that's a, that's an accomplishment. Why are we still playing this game is the part that I don't really get. Mm. 
Why are we still here? <laughs> Guess we can almost hard cast an agent of trash. I mean, we could almost hard cast a Morophon. I went 5 0 with Stock John. Speaking of accomplishments. Speaking of sick accomplishment. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, I didn't want to pass. I want to get back my snappy. Oh, please step out for something. Oh, please step out for something. Oh, please step out for something. Let me get that value. Let me get that value. Can we please? Lose your 04 and not 50, so I don't have to lose to Spike with that nonsense. Please step out for something. Oh, I didn't tap for red. We're gonna get mana leaked, and I'm gonna be super, super sad, but like, it is what it is. Yes! Did you see that value, chat? Did you see that? I have a free three, I have a five mana three three, and I also drew a snapcaster mage. Too much fire. Too much fire. Now we get to snap back Prismari command. Whew. <laughs> Fire. Take three opponents. With this smart command, Shulane is castable. Yeah, that's probably not going to survive, though. But I would cast an Asian of Treachery, though, if my opponent gets a Valky. Can you imagine a point in Hardcast Valky, we steal it? <laughs> Return that to owner's hand? Uh Okay. Do I wanna do I wanna snapcast command right now? I kind of want to snap caster command. Draw two cards, discard two cards, then create a treasure. <laughs> I mean, look at this hand. Let's be honest, let's look at this hand. Wow, we got a force for our trouble. Awesome. There's no way we can figure out a way to win this game, right? That's just not happening. But boy, would it, would it be amazing if we managed to do it? Boy, would it be amazing if we managed to get there. Okay. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna definitely slam it an instant speed 3-3 three, three on their end step. Our wing gun is currently the clock. For real, right? Like, my opponent's been taking forever. Here's a 3 3. 
None of these lands up for red. Instant speed, 3-3. Three, three. Let's go. Mana leak? No. Poggers. Okay. Gonna do that again on my opponent's sense step. That JPG, thank you so much for coming back to the Prime Time Stronghold. I appreciate it. Cling Thought Scour. Three three. I erase you at three three. Damn it. All right, you got me. Oh. My opponent finally decided to win the game. Damn it. And they, they got a Snapcaster? Oh man. And I guess technically they can't do any of those things. Oh, we're one minute short. We're one minute short. They can snap caster logic now because they took one of my snappies. <laughs> God damn it. Ugh. All right, I guess I'm gonna thought scour myself. <laughs> we forgot Cavernous Souls. Yeah, I know. How could we have forgotten about Cavernous Souls? I mean, be over my wing cons. I don't think there's that I can do that. <laughs> like a creature deck without counter souls. Well, this is a creature deck that does not aim to, you know, play its creatures. Man, they could have they could have milled anything, right? They could have milled a Morophone, They could have milled one of my lands. They could have milled like one of my Jodas or whatever, and they milled like the only card that matters. That, oh, now they mailed the Morophon. God damn it. Our hands to complete commander powerhouse. Yeah, I know. Why is my opponent taking so long to win? It's pretty mind boggling. I'm just playing this. Because my opponent's gonna exile my stuff, and then they're gonna get even more stuff, and then. Can agent of treachery in my lands. Damn it. I 
I can't believe that they flipped the Snapcast my own Snapcaster from the their Valky. <laughs> that is so brutal. That is so so brutal. I can't believe it. Also, we are half of our way into our deck and we have not found a single Glorious Vengeance. Not that it would have been good enough, but wait, they're plusing? Why are they plusing? Is they gonna play the Sauron? No. Okay, we're done here. We're done. Um, Thoughtsy seems good. Stubborn now seems good. And Dispute seems good. They're also going to bring bringing in Nihil Spellbones, and I'm never going to be able to beat that. God damn it. I think I'm literally just cutting all the reunions. And then we just have like Thoskar and Command <laughs> as enablers. Like it's not great, but. Vaya, sí, lo que pasa es que está muy, está muy nuevo el podcast todavía. No, no tenemos ni siquiera nombre. Oh, by the way, for those of you that don't know, um, I made a podcast with Evan and, uh, and Spider which I'm going to share right now because I didn't add it to a command. We want to fix that. So if you want to check it out, if you want to check it out, you can do so here. With We talk about all of the, like the new cards from the that were spoiled in this first episode. I'm not going to give you this hand. And it was was a lot of fun. So if you're enjoying it, let me know. Definitely happy to hear about that. And if you have any recommendations for our, for a podcast name, I would also appreciate that as well. Right now we have the Modern Musketeers and not really feeling that name just yet. <laughs> The Bearden Pod, there's already there's already a Bearden Podcast. The Modern Stronghold. Uh, the, the problem is like I don't want the whole point of of this podcast is so we can talk about stuff uh, that we would not necessarily talk about in Titan Talk, right? If if you want to hear me talk about Amulet, then you can just go to Titan Talk, right? Like that's literally what that post podcast is for. So uh, the whole point of this podcast is specifically um, to talk about uh, stuff that I may not discuss in, in in Titan Talk. So I don't want it to be amulet related in any sort of way. So I can, you know, keep the, the difference between both of them. And it would be awesome if it were something that were related to the three of us. Which is again myself, Everos, and Spider Space.
Only thing that I know that connects you is Spike. What do you mean? Well, we're gonna use we're gonna be using the good old Discord step in order to enable our our hand right now, which is funny. I mean, I guess I'll take it. Boom. I know all three of you from Spike's stream. Oh, okay. So the best draw here would be a mystical dispute. If we could fight a dispute, we'd be golden. We can also just find a land. It's also fine. So what I'm planning to set up here is assuming no interaction, we can Gorius the true lane and then we can Gorius the Morophon. I know that it's definitely some <laughs> some serious wishful thinking, but Yeah, I can double Gorius Morophon. Uh, it's now the time. We can jam with dispute backup. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna wait one more turn. I think I'm gonna wait one more turn. Three-headed giant. Uh, well, the problem is that three-headed giant is not modern related, right? We were going to discard, that's why I'm going I'm going for it here. Nothing we can do about it there because like we can Gorios again, but it just doesn't achieve anything for us because we don't have the extra mana to play the Joda, which is honestly brutal. Thank you, Magda, for the follow there. I'm gonna press Mario Command on my end step. Maybe we can get something going like that on their end step. Gem drawing clean is devastating. All right, command. Let's go.
I want to be in one of this, because I really want to scour right now, but I don't think I want to be in one of the Glorious Vengeances. I think I'm in the Joe, though. Have face. There's no way we can actually win this game, right? I'm just spinning my wheels and eventually I'll die. Splicing Vengeance plays around counter spells. Uh, no, it doesn't, because they just counter the spliced thing and then you, you get nothing. So it really doesn't do anything to splice. Just uses up my mana for no real reason. I hate cling to dust so much. How? How does splicing... Like, this is the only arcane that I can splice onto. Explain to me how splicing plays around... Plays around counter magic. It would require them to have two counter spells. That's just not true. You splice and then you add the the effect to this spell. So they just counter the spells. Boom. That's it. It doesn't copy the spell. It doesn't put two different spells on the stack. Yeah, so like I could play Agoria's Vengeance and I could get two creatures if I spliced, right? This is the turn, chat, because otherwise my opponent gets to do their stuff at uh, instant speed, so... Let the fireworks begin. It's not looking good for the home team, but... Counter target spell. Dispute that. And I'm disputing this because otherwise my opponent just gets to clean the thing. Drown in the lock. Glorious and Morophon. They have another cling, another drown, mana leak. Yeah, we're dead. Are we out of Gorius? No, there's one Gorius left. Again, they stole my Snapcaster Mage. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, 
Oh, this just doesn't matter anymore, right? Is this haste? No, it doesn't. This is haste, though. My bunny had too much stuff. All the stuffs. That attack with Snapcast and Mage <laughs> doesn't bode well for me. Two damage to any target. Draw to this card too. Is this still game one? This is game two. But if we find a fourth Gorios here. Oh no, I forgot that they have Kling in the graveyard. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> That's right. They have they have the card that I can't beat in the graveyard too. Damn it. So even these thoughts is doesn't really do anything. Alright, I'm over this. Last match. We were able to do the thing once. Can we do it a second time? Stay tuned to see. Boom, perfect hand. I'm gonna go for Watery Grave. What are, the, what are we looking for here? We're looking for a way to discard Morophon. Cathartic, yeah, Cathartic would be the ideal draw. We're gonna get Watery Grave. And then we wanna get uh, Prismar Command's fine. I'll take Prismar Command plus land. I will take it. When's the last time I was 04? That's a good question. I don't remember. I have gone 04 before. Uh, 05, I only went once. Um, playing real decks, that is, right? Playing real decks, I only went 05 once, and that was playing Merfolk. Needless to say, never played Merfolk again. And I'm a happier human being for that. Doing this right now because it's actually super important for us to resolve. Also, my opponent is playing counter magic. God damn it. Wasn't trying to get you to lose. I thought it was. I don't mind losing though. I'm not one of those like extreme, you know, spikes or whatever. I don't care about losing. I care more about learning than I do care about losing. Uh, that's rough. Well, I need that glorious pronto. But my constructed rating, yeah, I know. Boohoo. <laughs> Where's my constructed rating gonna go? Oh no. Terrible draw. New experiment. Oh, this is a Dono deck list. It's been fun. 
to be fair, when we did get to do the thing, it was pretty awesome. When we did get to do the thing, it was pretty awesome, I have to say. Yeah, we, we beat the Jurassic Tron one game, right? So... I think we're about to get uh, through the breached right here. <laughs> and we have one, two, three, four, five, six permanents. I think my opponent is deliberating whether they want to go for it or not, and they correctly figure out, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna get my, I'm just gonna get him dead. Okay, disputes. Star on denials, thought ceases. I like bringing brutality as a discard outlet. That's kind of neat. Speak of thinking about a new band, Celestia, or Ors of Humans list based in a synergy between Elite Spellbinder and Dranith Magistrate. So turning your stuff into Thought Seizes. Seems cool. Boom. Great hand. Keep. Around Blood Moon, bottom that, bottom that. Okay, so we have a little bit of the combo in hand, which is nice. Oh no, Prismar Command is exactly what I wish I had drawn. Boom, Serum Visions. Bottom, bottom. Can we do the thing? Can we do the thing? Prismari command. Snapcaster mage. I don't think my life total matters, so I'd rather just fetch shock there. I'm gonna pass this and I'm gonna end step snapcaster, I guess. Get the thoughts cower. Sadness. Sadness goes on the stack. No, 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 no. Moral form plus Yoda plus two lane lets you cast your deck. <laughs> Calling the, do the deck convoluted would be an understatement, you know? Calling the deck convoluted would be an understatement. So we can Gorios an end step, right? Exile at the beginning of the next end step. Yeah, so we can Gorios in my opponent's end step, and then we're gonna get the creature for the turn, so we can get back to lane. And then what we can do is we can we can bounce maybe the snapcaster. I guess we can also bounce itself. We can also just do nothing. Just chill here. Yes, third morophon. I 
I would like to discard to hand size, please. I would like to discard to hand size, please. Ha, silly opponent, that's exactly what I want to do. Discard to hand size. No, I mean, to be fair, that's a card that we're not drawing off the Chulane, though, right? So. Oh, man. Aw. Damn it. All right, we couldn't get there. We couldn't get there. Feels bad, but. All right, we got to do the thing once, and it was glorious. But yeah, obviously this this deck was not expected to <laughs> to do particularly well. Uh, but it was it was fun. Uh, it feels like this card is kind of bad for us. Like the fact that we are so focused on Gorgeous Engine, and for whatever reason, apparently everybody is running main the graveyard hate right now. Like half half of the rounds we lost to were because people were playing main deck graveyard. Hey? <laughs> uh, so like being focused solely on Gorious Vengeance seems like it may not be the way to go. So maybe doing something like having a, an alternate way of doing stuff, uh, I could see soaring. Uh, that's the, the three mana soaring, uh, which is I definitely don't know the name of this card. But it looks just like, um, wait, where is it? This guy, Imperious Bloodlord. So having access to like a backdoor way of, of putting the Morophon into play seems kind of necessary, honestly. Uh, and I know that the cards does literally nothing without anything else, but like, most of our deck does nothing if you don't have the other half of the combo anyway, so... Um, so it kind of is what it is. You also need the cavern, no. You definitely don't need the cavern. Um, I won three out of five matches. I wonder if the Neoform Tassigor is actually better. Uh, yeah, that's the, the original version was... Let me see if I, if I can find it real quick. Um, the original version looked probably even more spicy. Um... Let me see if it's this one. It's not this one. Is it this one? It's not this one. Not this one either. Boom, found it. So. No, it's not this one. This is almost humans. <laughs> that one is particularly funny. Okay, there we go. This is the one. So, no, wh where is it? Did you change it, Ash? Or did my... Maybe maybe you change it in the source. Anyway, whatever. Um, but... But yeah, so the original version was using Neoform and, uh, you know, speeding out a Tassiger with Thought Scour and Tome Scour and speeding out a Tassiger and then just playing um, Neoform or Eldritch Evolution in order to evolve into Morophon and then going off from there, uh, which, is, uh, which is another really convoluted way of achieving something that doesn't really get you to win the game on the spot, but it's absolutely hilarious. Um, so that seems that seems fun, uh, but yeah, obviously the deck was fun, but uh, yeah, we probably won't be <laughs> won't be playing this one again. Uh, it was it was cute though. Thank you, Ash, for the dono, and uh, hope you enjoyed the content. Hope you had some little fun with this uh, completely absolutely hysterical brew. And if you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.